Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. In this short tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you how you can make these impactful logo animations quickly and easily directly in PowerPoint. So let's jump straight into it. As usual, we'll be starting with a blank presentation. So we'll go File, New, Blank Presentation, right click, Layout, and Blank. Firstly, let's create the background and the simple logo. So we'll right click, choose Format Background, and then go to Gradient Fill, the default is to add these four stops. I'm going to click on this one and drag it off. Make sure the first one's set to white and the second one and the third one. Then I'm going to change the type to radial, the direction by center, which is this third one. And then I'm going to click on stop two and adjust the brightness down a little bit and then click on stop three and adjust the brightness down a lot more. This gives a really nice effect where it focuses the light and the brightness on the middle part of the page and then fades off darker as it goes to the edge. Now let's add my simple logo. And to do that, I went to shapes and under basic shapes, I chose a hexagon and just click anywhere and use the default size. I chose a shape fill of a dark gray, the third one up here and a shape outline of no outline. And I just simply added two white rectangles onto this very small just to create a quick mock-up logo. So for these, I chose white with no outline. And then drag this down with Control and Shift to make a copy. Control G to group, select both of them and align. Now I'll add the text. I just wrote my logo, fig tree extra bold and 66 point size. I also made it the same gray as my logo. Drag it up into position, select both of them, control G, and then align to the center. Nice. Now let's add the animation to this and then we'll make the variations. So for the first part of the animation, I want this hexagon to be big and then zoom back out. So firstly, control shift G to ungroup these, then click on the hexagon, the rectangles in the middle and control G. So this is one item. I'll just control Z to put that back in the right place. Then click on the slide, control D to duplicate. On slide one, we don't yet need the text, so we'll delete that. Control and the mouse wheel to zoom out slightly. Then if I hold down control and shift and drag from the corner, it will size from the center. Now I can align it, then go on to slide two, transitions and morph. I just want that to be a bit snappier. So I'll set the duration on the morph to half a second. And on slide one, I'll set advanced to naught seconds, which means as soon as you play it, it will start. Now let's add the motion path on the My Logo text. So we'll click on the My Logo text, go to animations, we'll click the down arrow to reveal these, and then choose motion paths lines. The default will be to move it down, but we want it to come in from the left. And so for this, I'll go to effect options, say left, then effect options again and reverse path direction. That's looking good. Just want to click on the first point. When it turns into a red dot, I'll hold down shift and drag it to the left. So that will be my start position for the animation. Now we go to animation pane and we don't want it to be visible at the beginning. So I'm going to add a second animation, which is a fade. I'll now change the order in the animation pane. So I'll drag down the motion path, set it to happen with previous. I'm going to set the duration to 0.75 and then double click and set the smooth end to the full amount. That's looking good. I also want it to start as we enter the slide. So I'll go to the first animation and set it to happen with previous. So now when we enter the slide, it will reveal. I also want it to happen behind this. So I'm going to right click on it and choose bring to front. Great. So now let's play that from the beginning. Brilliant. Finally, I'll show you how you can quickly make variations of this. So I'll select slide one, hold down shift and select slide two as well, and then control D to duplicate. Now I'm going to make a white version of this. So I will click, click again, shape fill white, and then I'm going to make the rectangles the gray. Click once to select the whole thing and click again to select the symbol inside. I'm going to do the same with this, white for these, 
upgrade for these. I'm now going to make the My Logo text white. Then I'm going to change the background on both of these. So I'll right click, Format Background, Picture or Texture Fill, Insert, Stock Images. Select any image you want. Make sure the background is set on both of these slides. Now play from slide three. And there's our variation. Now we've got a dark and light variation. It can work over nearly any background. So let's very quickly make a color one. Select both slides, Control D to duplicate. We'll quickly select a color background on this. And I'll just randomly pick two of the colors from this background for my logo part here. And do the same here. And make sure this background is also set to the same one as the other slide. Now when we play from there, brilliant. A really quick and easy way of animating any logo and being able to easily make variations. If you'd like to download any of the source files for my recent presentations, there is a link to my Patreon in the description below. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you'd like to see more, hit subscribe. If you like this, hit that like button and I'll see you in the next one.